Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and friends beyond the binary, it's time for the podcaster that tries to make every night feel easy like Sunday morning. Thanks, L Train. Uh, it, it won't sing in this intro, but uh, it's time for Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. And tonight's episode is sponsored by Sleep Phones. Go to sleepwithmepodcast.com slash sleepphones, S-L-E-E-P-P-H-O-N-E-S, and use the coupon code sleepwithme for $5 off your sleep phones. Uh, are you looking for the world's most comfortable way to listen to sleep with me? You already like sleep with me, but maybe it makes a, wakes up your partner or your earbuds fall out. Well, the sleep phones is the solution. Not only have they been the, our longest running sponsor, uh, but they make the world's most comfortable bed friendly headphones with a thin, high quality speaker inside a soft, stretchy headband. That's how you can listen to sleep with me. Uh, they're designed by a family doctor to help you fall asleep faster and stay asleep longer, all while my creaky dulcet tones are in your ears. And sleep phones come with a satisfaction guarantee. That's a one-year manufacturer's warranty and 100% customer satisfaction guaranteed. And I've seen their customer service in action. It's great. Uh, small, medium, and large sizes. You can get a classic recorded version or a Bluetooth version. Mystery Bar, you got a little song about sleep phones? Sleep phones are a headband with speakers in it. So you can listen to sleep with me much more comfortably. Nothing sticking into your ear, nothing digging into your head. Just a soft headband instead. Talking about sleep phones, sleepphones.com. We're talking about sleep phones. Use the code sleep with me. We're talking about sleep phones. Headband with speakers talking about sleep phones. Sleepphones.com. Go there. So let's say go to sleepwithmepodcast.com slash sleep phones. Get yourself a pair of sleep phones. Listen to Sleep With Me in Comfort. Support the show. Uh, get yourself some sleep phones. And you sleep with me at checkout for $5 off. Thanks, sleep phones. Uh, housekeeping, we're on the web, www.sleepwithmepodcast.com. Older episodes are there. You can comment on our show notes. You can uh, email me, feedback at sleepwithmepodcast.com. You can me on Twitter at Dear Scooter or on Facebook at Sleep With Me Podcast. Uh, on, yeah, Sleep With Me Podcast. I want to thank Chris Posty Posterson from Sounds Like an Earful who edited this episode and does the theme music, and he's got a studio over there at Sounds Like an Earful podcasting studio. I want to thank Jonathan Mann, who does our lullabies. He's the mystery bard, and you can commission a song from him at jonathanmann.net. I want to thank Scotty and Jennifer on our honor, on our artwork. And the listeners have a Facebook group over at sleepwithmepodcast.com slash nods. Uh, it's narrated by uh, Lauren Lida, Summer and Sarah, and Julie and Jennifer. And let's keep this show a going. Uh, hey, you all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble, getting to sleep, trouble, staying asleep. Well, welcome. This is Sleep With Me, the podcast that's here to put you to sleep. We do it the bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the lights and press play. I'm going to do the rest. And what I'm going to do is create, create, create a safe place. And you know it's a safe place when you can recover. <laughs> oh my goodness! Recover from recumber from your stumbles. I guess that couldn't have been more perfect. You know it's a safe place when you can recover from your stumbling into saying recover from your stumbles by saying recumber your stumbles. That's a safe place to say, hey, you can go ahead and trip all you want. I'm not like I'm not here to laugh or judge. And this is more of a relatable to that. This safe place, I'm here to distract you from whatever's keeping you awake. Which a lot of times for a lot of us is finger pointers. You know, that's one thing that could be keeping you awake. It could be internal finger pointers. It could be, uh, you know, your tongue, you see, while you're trying to speak, your mouth is, is setting you up to be pointed at. It could be external finger pointers. could be ones, you, you know, from the past. Maybe you say, well, in the future... Will people point their fingers at me? 
and will it hurt, you know? And I, I would tell you one day, you know, if this back, I mean, okay, well, we, you got to start small, you know. As Berbigley has said a few times uh, when he was promoting uh, uh, Don't Think Twice, you know, mi micro, you know, let's get some micro change going. I think that's because he played with so many micro machines so that he doesn't talk about that. But if anybody's listening and they're doing any Berbigley related interviews, see, did you question on that micro change? Did you ever play with micro machines? Did you have the micro machine when you put the penny in the back of the, was that a micro machine? That's why I can't get, can't get in any, I don't do interviews because that would happen every time. I'm sure he wouldn't, he'd be like, he'd be so, he's so uh, charming and easygoing. Okay, just in case you weren't born during a specific time window, micro machines were like tiny versions of ma who, matchbox cars. Is the matchbox car still around? And I know micro machines weren't for, for our uh, listeners from the, like, uh, they're just little car toy cars. Let's just say that and let's move on. Only problem is I don't know how, what I was talking about before I got, got into this micro mess. And micro mismanagement, that, that should be, there's a book I could write. What was I, did any idea, I wish this was a listener, I wish I had a listener audience, but they'd all be, it's a, uh, anybody know what I was talking about earlier? Micro machines, I said micro change. Oh yeah, one day, you know, if this podcast, if we get started, and this is what I'm trying to create the safe places, a, a micro version of this. You know, we're, we're uh, finger pointing, you know, is just for directions and things and, and saying, hey, good job. Or, you know, doing the old like, hey, but bucko, uh, right back at you. Like you could have smooth finger pointing. Now, I don't know, is that demonstrative finger pointing, the kind I don't like? You know, sh sh shame based finger pointing. Or maybe we'll live in a future where only wizards can use their fingers for pointing, and then it'll be, you know, won't be good. It'd be worse. You say, well, I'd rather have shame than whatever's coming out of your fingers. Uh, a gray beard or whatever the heck your name is. So maybe I should just stick to sleep podcasts instead of, you know, global change. You know, just put just put people to sleep scoots. And it's say, okay, well, I got, I got a wizard in a robe in my head. That's kind of sleep. It could be, you know... How about how convenient is it to be a wizard? You just you you already have your pajamas on. I never thought about that. You know, maybe like uh, here's something. I don't know how many slackers how, how many slackers we got out here. If we still have is that a thing or is that like micro machines? How many people spend their day in their underwear or their pajamas? There you go. Become a wizard. You know, then you just got to put a robe on. And also wizards get, from from my understanding, uh, from the readings I did about wizards and stuff, they get tired a lot, you know, because they spend their energy. So that could be your excuse, too. People be like, why are you so lackadaisical? Oh, I just had to cast, right before you got here, I cast all these spells. So I can't help you work on that project because I got to lie down. I'm tapped of my mana and I, I'm like beat. So tired, it's, you know, it's a wizard, what can I tell you? Been in this robe all day, well, all year, so may, maybe, but I gotta lie down, so sorry, uh, if you can get it done, that'd be good, because I don't know how long this is going to take me, magic missiles, I did a, and I did a milkshake spell for you, but I was tapped out, so I couldn't, you know, man, you know I was going to do this magic milkshake spell. You know, so we'd have those while we worked on the project. So if you could get that done, and I got to call in sick to work again, they don't actually have the respect of wizards that you do. So I'm tired. So thanks. So there you go. There's pro am tip. Pretend you're wi become a wizard, or you know, worst case scenario, pretend you get yourself a robe, and maybe a conical hat. But that would be more of you know, kind of like a stylistic choice. It's say no conical hat. I think that we've moved, like, you know, the wind, it doesn't seem very convenient. Maybe if you were out in the forest, uh, even then it'd probably get tangled in brambles. Has anybody been encouraging this? Because there's no way I'm the first person that thought of this. Like, you know, uh, this, the being, of all the benefits of being a wizard, especially if you're so, you know, you say, well, I'm not good with people, I'm a wizard. 
I guess I am a, wi I'm a wizard without the magic. Yeah, well, I guess intel I don't know what, I when I rolled my intelligence, I said, well, and don't you have to have two, isn't there wisdom and intelligence? And they say neither in your case, Scoots. Well, believe it or not, I'm in the middle of a podcast intro, so you, you want to talk about, uh, like, I, you, know, you know, I just did a mana fake out because I'm only uh, halfway tapped of my mana. And we didn't have mana back then. I think, I don't know if that came, when that came about. Mana, is it mana or mana? You say mana, I say mana, but I say I'm a wizard, so leave me out of it. I'm not supposed to sing. That wasn't singing. That was sing-song language. Anyway, if you're new here, oh boy, that's the podcast, in a, you know, in a wizard's robe right there. Uh, and micro scale. <laughs> that, that's the podcast. I, I'm going to take your mind off stuff. I guess I didn't even do the regular intro. I'm going to create a safe place. This That place was so safe, it allowed me to just make a, like, just go with a bunch of buffoonery that was in my brain. But what I was going to do, say is I'm going to create a safe place where you can set aside whatever's keeping you awake, whether it's thinking, feeling, sensing, you know, physical things, emotional things, noises, whatever's keeping you awake, I want to take your mind off of that. Clearly, you don't need to take me seriously. So you say, okay, well, I don't need to take him seriously. So, so you don't need to listen closely. And uh, so you just say, well, I'm going to kind of listen. And uh, then you just fall asleep whenever you want. You say, okay, well, this guy's a bit of a, 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 he's a nonsense maker. He's a wizard. He's a wizard without magic. And they, I'm sure the wizards would say, well, what right do you call yourself then by wizard? And I would say, well, I have a, a bicycle uh, license plate that says wizard, kid wizard, actually. So there, that's a license plate, you know. Freaking puffin' stuff, uh, or whatever the heck, or sugar pops. So there, a little, I'm a little lizard. Yeah, and they say, no, that's lizard, little lizard. I say, you sure that doesn't say little lizard? They say, you might be right. It, was, it just says litter, lizard. Yeah, lizard, little. Uh, anyway, uh, so you don't got to take me seriously. But I'll be here the whole time. And so if you can, just take your time falling asleep, I'll be giving it my all. We're going to set up our, uh, like, our, what is it, what, what kind of series are we doing here? Star Trek-like series, uh, which I can't think of the title for it. Uh, I mean, the title I know, but, like, the type, of, it, it's like a, whatever it's called. Procedural, that's right. Thank you, secondary brain. So I'll set that up, and then, I'll t then we'll have a story. I'll be here for an hour at least, uh, but you just kick back. But if you can't sleep, those of you that can't sleep, I'll be here the whole time giving it my all. So just fall asleep when you're right. You don't need to fall asleep because I'll, I'll be here to take your mind off of stuff. And I hope I can help you. This podcast, it doesn't work for everybody. Give it a few tries. You know, I hope it works for you. And, you know, I appreciate, appreciate you giving this a shot. I mean, if if you didn't have skepticism before you pressed play, I'm sure trying to follow, you say, okay, wait, so did, did, was he, did, the next day, would you, did you like, you if you're if you were listening with your partner or your roommate or whatever, you say, did he say Mike Berbigli is a wizard? And they say, no, 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 he said that Mike Berbigli is uh, is do, doing a new, the redoing Big Lebowski with Mike Birbiglia, the big, 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 big Birbigliowski, they, they said. And he's going to be Lebowski's son, and he's a wizard. Well, that sounds just like Scoot. So, oh boy, he keeps it. He, that doesn't make any sense, but that sounds like Scooter. It's exactly, he was talking, and oh, I think his magic power is micro machines. Oh, yeah, that is, uh, Scoots doesn't change, does he, hun? Oh, no, but I slept so great last night, my sweet. Oh, my sweet babooch. Okay, my scooty boops. I don't know. Sorry about those. Uh, what are those called? Pet, they're not pen names. I don't know what they're pet. Are those pet names? I think I have two parts of my brain that are in love with each other because I don't know where they came from. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. I appreciate your time. I really hope and really yearn to help you fall asleep. Thanks for coming by. And before we get to the story, just a reminder that uh, this episode is sponsored by Sleep Phones. If you go to sleepwithmepodcast.com slash sleep phones, 
and use Sleep With Me at checkout, you get $5 off the most comfortable way to listen to Sleep With Me podcast. All right, folks, welcome to another episode of Nuns in Space. This is a self-contained, you know, this is a procedural show and uh, about nuns in space, our heroes, Scooter and uh, Stan. Scooter, the uh, quartermaster of the ship uh, Monte Carmelo. Stan, his best friend and software interface and soda machine. The ship crewed by uh, the nuns from Scooter's childhood or people that Scooter believes are the nuns from his childhood. So they might as well be since he's the narrator. And they're out in the depths of outer space searching for the Nichez, the ship that's gone missing. And the Scooter and his crew uh, have, uh, are on a mission to travel the entire known and unknown universe in search of the Nichez. And the only hints they have are threads of delusion which they follow deeper and deeper into space. And another episode, oh, come on, you're late. He says, six hours. Oh, my friend, why why you have me come from Los Angeles for uh, rush hour? Sorry, Antonio, it's just this is the time I record my show. Oh, you're lucky. Uh, okay, there's uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and friends beyond the binary. It's time for another episode of the nuns in space. Yeah, nuns in space. Wow, it's worse. It's worse every every complaint you make, Antonio, for that. And no money. And nuns in space. Uh, hey, pen pal, it's me. You read your pen. It's me, your pen pal, Scooter. Might sound like I'm down. I don't know if I'm down or a little bit mad. Not at you. Don't worry, pen pal. Not at you. And I'm not talking like I'm not. I'm not mad at you. And then pretending I'm not mad. I'm mad about something else. Hey, and you're the one I have to talk to. You and Stan, but Stan, you know, Stan's listening anyway. But Stan, don't play. I'm just let me think this out. Stan, thanks. You know, pen pal. Uh, Sister Carol Lynn is is not nice to me. I don't think I've we've talked. She's not very nice, and I, mean, I I don't know what to. I, she she was she was just not nice to me, and I'm not telling, and because you won't hear this. I mean, who even knows? But if you if you're hearing this, pen pal, hopefully there's a statue of me somewhere. Uh, you know, good you know good stat you know, one made of. Uh, but yeah, Sister Carolyn, uh, so I was flying because uh, they took manual control because they said, well, uh, I want to get to, I wanted to fly by feel. And she says, no one. And I said, well, do, do you have the gift of d- 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 delusion detection or not? And she said, well, and she said a bunch of stuff under her breath. And I said, and she said, this, she, she, she said, she was pointing to this one star. I don't know, AB something, something. And she said, well, you're drifting to the left. Why don't you just head towards that star? And he said, well, I'm not going that way. I said, I'm, and she said, well, just for the time being then. And I said, and she said, you're over, it's bad for the left. She's talking about how my flying is bad for the left engine. And then talking about my face, the face I was making and then I said, he said, I kept telling myself, don't make a thing of this. Just you're the, and then I was trying to breathe. And then I said, you know, can you give me a little space? And then she just stepped back one foot and she said something about, again, she says, why do you keep doing that? And I said, doing what? Flying in the ship? Uh, and, I, and she called, and these are harsh. She called me a fool and a menace. Uh, because, oh, then everybody got off the bridge at some point because it was uncomfortable because she was, you know, and that, uh, you know, I was going to be, and I said, I said, excuse me, um, you know, I've had about, and then I, I said, then I t- just turned to, back to automatic control. And then I said, computer, don't go, don't use that friggin' star for, you know, and the computer said it didn't need to. Scooter, Scooter, can I say something? I sure, Stan, you can say something. Scooter, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, thanks, Stan. What are you, what are you, what are you sorry about? Oh, Scooter, I'm, bro- 
Scooter, I'm sorry. You're, uh, hold on, my, it's processing, Scooter. I'm sorry. You're, you, it sounds like you're having a heart. It sounds, that sounds difficult, Scooter. It is difficult, Stan. Thanks. Uh, you, is there anything else you're sorry about? Well, Scooter, I, I wish I knew how to handle, to handle it better, too. It really seems like you're doing the best job you can. Thanks, Stan. Yeah, but I don't think, you know, I, I, I have to take, I think I have to take more, more. I have to do more, though, Stan, in pen pal, because I don't want to set an example that my pen pal should be, I shouldn't be treated like that, Stan, and neither should my pen pal. I mean, I'm going to think a computer should. And you know, part of me would say, well, how many, like, I, I don't know, I think I'm going to see if we have dem demerits. Like, we'll just have to come up with a demerit system and then say, okay, disrespectful language on the bridge. Is that, do, do you know if they have demerits? What will we do? So, Stan, look, look up some info on demerits. Okay, Scooter, I, I believe demerits were proven ineffective, though, by da data. Okay, we'll just see. Like, they might work in this situation. Or our timeouts and demerits. Let me go down. Where's the rest of the crew? Is, is this, where's Sister Carolyn? Is she still on the bridge? Scooter, she's still on the bridge. And the computer's listening to me. It's not using that star for navigation, is it? Scooter, no, no. The computer's using its own internal navigation system. Well, wait, is, is it based on the stars? Scooter, uh, par partially, Scooter. Ugh. Okay, and I don't want, I don't need to, so it's based on that star. Not base scooter, it, it takes that, it, so it, it, scooter, even if you, you can't, even if you remove something from a formula. So we remove the star from the formula, but the, it still knows it's there, it just knows that it's not there. So even the absence of the star is calculated into the calculations that the computer is using for navigation. So it's it's not using the star, but using it. Okay, great. So I'll just get, so where's the rest of the crew? Uh, Scooter, they're in supply room four. Okay. Um. Hey, right, let's go, pen pal. Stan, let you stand. You uh. Are you gonna you you're gonna? Well, Scooter, you always just take me on the uh, the dolly. So you never do. You, do you ever tell your pen pal that's how I get around? Well, yeah, at one point, at some point, I'll get you, um, like, something like droid feet, but it's easier to just dolly, because see how I have it here in this angle? It's like you're weightless. Do you feel weightless? Well, Scooter, we're at a lower gravity right now. Yeah, but do, do, look at, I'm really, Stan, I'm, like, one of the best dollyers, like, because, you know, I had all that. You know, did I ever tell you about all the furniture I used to deliver? Only when you're dollying me, Scooter, that you say you can fit, 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 if you, you're good. You're very good. My leveling systems have great respect for your dollying ability, Scooter. Thanks, uh, great Stan. So, that, uh, okay, uh, let's just go in. Just open the door, Stan. Well, hello, sisters. Uh, what's going on here? You seem to be working on something. In the, is that the uh, old piece of the Natchez? That's the piece you have left there. What, what are you working on? It looks like, uh, what are those? Those look like, uh, kind of looks like an upside down bug there. What are those, uh, bug legs? Oh, it's a table. Oh, you're going to flip it back. It's a table that looks like a bug. And that's the last piece of the Natchez door we had from Her Highness, huh? What's that hole in there for? Is that a cup holder for a table with a cup holder? I guess that's a nice table. It looks a little uh, aggressive or something. What's the table? What's the table? Why are you down here working at? Like, why are the table legs so? Oh, it's modern. Yeah, because they just look very, uh, like, it looks like it's grabbing the floor instead of uh, sitting on the floor. Oh, in case of turbulence. Okay, that makes sense. So, what do you? What is this crafts time? I didn't. I didn't remember seeing this on the man. Like, uh, whatever that thing is, calendar. Oh, it's a gift. Oh, really? Gift? A gift for whom? Oh, Sister Carolyn. Sister Carolyn's birthday. What? Oh, coming up really. So you made her a table. 
It looks like that uh, that circle there was a really lot of delusion still coming off there. If I hold my hand close, I can feel the delusion coming off of the Nichez. Wonder what would happen if we put Gartox thing in there. Well, just a lot of delusion in that thing. I think from being trapped in the cloud or something. Anyway, I, I, I was uh, so Carol, Sister Carolyn's birthday, huh? Maybe I should do something nice for her. Okay, your face is. Anyway, I'll see, see you, sisters, later. Yeah, Stan, that was a so sorry, pen pal. Stan, that was awkward. Everybody feels uncomfortable around me because, especially after Carolyn. But you know what they say, pen pal. Take it like Lionel Kitty City used to do. They used to turn frowns upside down. And that's how I was raised by like Lionel Kitty City commercials, pen pal. And, you know, industrial, like industrial color labs in Milford Plaza. So that's all I know. Those are those. Are, that's how I get my values. So I'm going to turn the frown upside down, pen pal. And Sister Carolyn has a frown. Uh, Scooter, you should know something. What's that, Stan? Uh, the crew were, were lying about the table. I could tell with their just basic voice analysis and body language. Oh, they were lying about the table? The scooter, yeah, they were lying about the table. I, I don't like, it's just a fact scooter. Yeah, they, well, it's a, it's a typical thing. With, they're probably going to have a surprise party, and they don't want me to know about it. And they probably didn't want me to know. You know, this, that's the thing. Do you ever watch any cartoons that I'll ruin the surprise? But I'm not going to, I'm going to make the surprise, Stan. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rule the surprise. Scooter, I'm not sure that's what they were relying about. You remember that space station we were in a little while ago? I, like one to, when we were, I was looking through some of the tourist brochures there, Stan, and there was there was uh, on the tourist brochure there was a dessert. There was like this dessert planet. Did was I talking to you about that? Uh, Scooter, you were because you were saying uh, should, should you say bring? I'll bring my own root beer. Remember you were making jokes about that. Yeah, I think that's like they do do birthday had birthday party packages there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna send an order ahead and like because uh, we're we're right by there. Actually, that star is actually one of the net. Look at the map on the back of it where it says isn't that AB when I was in 109 or whatever. There's the dessert universe. Scooter, those are pretty old brochures. I think the ship's computer is telling me that universe was. Uh, it was unlisted scooter. It's I don't think it's a recommended. Well, I'll just call and see because it's, look at this birthday packages, scooter. That's very expensive. Well, Stan, you know as long as Garta, I don't think Garta could have legally froze my assets, so I'm pretty sure uh, my money's still good. So we should it should it shouldn't be a big deal. So I I think I I can cover that cost and it'll be for Sister Carolyn. Look at the deluxe one, Stan. How about that? Look at a chocolate cave, chocolate river. And then there's, there's, look at this, there's a cupcake walk where you walk on cupcake. This is a little bit like, makes me think of Gene, but uh, like, look at the head, look at lollipop forest. Scooter, it does, Scooter, I'm a computer, so I, I, I can see, Scooter, you, 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 you're adults though. I think this is a universe for kids or couples, you know. You know what I mean, Scooter? Uh, like, if it, did you look at the other brochure? Yeah, I put that other brochure somewhere else, Stan, for, for perusing. This is a brochure for planning. Yeah, well, Scooter, I'm just, uh, okay, anyway, pen pal, I got to get off the phone here. I mean, the recorder so I can call. And make these birthday plans. Super deluxe package, Stan. Okay, Pempe, I'll be right back. I'll be back in. I'll, I'll be in touch soon after this rocking party. Uh, hey, Pempe, it's me. It's been a little while. We got to the divert, divert, uh, dessert planets. And actually, as soon as we entered orbit, Sister Carolyn started getting sick. And then the crew wanted to know where we were going. And it ends up the sister, Carolyn, doesn't like any desserts, which is not surprising, you know. And, it, like, they, they said, is she allergic? We could give her, and they said, well, it's kind of like an allergy, but, you know, it's more, 
And I said, she like, but she's definitely sick. So it's a real, she's like, it's not a physical allergy, but it's manifesting physically. And she's very mad at me for playing. She's, oh, it's her birthday. It's ca- happy birthday to care, Sister Carolyn. Not a day over whatever day you turn mean and better, whatever year that was. Uh, she's one year older. I guess the pen pal, that's not very nice of me, but, uh, you know, I tried to do something nice and it backfired, of course. And I guess I should have known. I did, not only did it backfire, it made her more mad. I just thought, how could a dessert universe go wrong? I guess a diverse, a diver, dessert planet. It keeps saying dessert universe because that's one of the restaurants on the dessert planet, which I was looking forward to eating at. But now we can't go there. Also can't, you know, ski the slopes. I was looking forward to doing some skiing, you know, while they were having these banquets. And the gumdrop, I thought, I thought to, I scheduled, you know, for a gum, they have gumdrop horses. I thought, how, who wouldn't like to ride a gumdrop horse? So she's very mad. One second, pen pal, the, uh, do, the people from the dessert planet are good, good, trying to get a hold of me. Yeah, go ahead. No, 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 we're not taking the package. Like, she's ill. The the the, the birthday girl is ill. So we're, we're, we'll, uh, we're sorry, you know. Well, no, 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 I'm not paying in full. Like, uh, there's a probably deposit, like, there's a deposit. No, 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 I'm not paying in full. We haven't even gotten any desserts other than the samples. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm dissatisfied because you didn't, you, you should be able to accommodate all guests. But our birthday person, there's something about your atmosphere that is not making her feel good. Okay, one second, the crew's coming. Oh, great. Uh, yes, yeah, you can see my crew's here. And how's Sister Carolyn feeling? Uh, she's still in bed, not feeling good. So, so we're, 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 we don't need the dessert package. We, there's nothing prepared. This is a dessert planet. You don't, you don't need to do it. You already have, you don't bake desserts. You're made of desserts. No, no, no. You don't understand. I'm not paying. Like, uh, I'll pay a deposit, uh, which is, if, you know, you could charge me like 1% or whatever. No, no, there's no such thing as a booking. There's no such thing as prepaying. It's not, a, it's not a thing. If we would have rode the gumdrop horses or done anything, but we just flew into your atmosphere and we've been circling, you know, inside your atmosphere, we're not, we're not staying. Uh, please don't explain to me what booking a package means. I'm perfect. I've been booking packages since the day I was able to book a package. And I know that I know this kind of nonsense goes on. This is probably why you're on unlisted planet now. Oh, do you? How dare I? Well, excuse you, actually. Excuse you. You know, maybe there's some... Uh, do, do you have full disclosures? Do I need to look up the laws about uh, birthday... What are the international treaties about birthday parties say, Stan? A uh, Scooter, you want me to look up the international treaties about... Scooter, that's not a thing. Well, there should be international governing body. There's a birthday party governing body in the... Federation or something. Look, look it up silently. Okay, Scooter. I understand your life. Scooter, I'm looking it up silently. So anyway, deserve universe. Here's some free advice. Uh, um, yeah, I'm not pay. You, you, you charge a deposit. You could take a deposit. Uh, no, no, no. You can't hold us on the planet till we pay. I'm not paying. Uh, you and see you no no you I guess you don't really know what you're dealing with the dessert planets. Uh, like, like I'm not the per- like I'm not the, like uh, when I when I when I decide I'm not paying I'm not paying I'm not a, like this isn't a reasonable situation. Oh, you're not a reasonable planet just because you have desserts. So. Okay, one second. The crew's po- poking me. Uh, why can't I just pay? Well, because I, because it's a principle. Okay, stand, uh, exit the atmosphere, and, uh, you know, let's let's uh, see if we can build up some speed to get into the orbit around the planet and put them back on calm. Okay, dessert, dessert planet, I'm leaving, and if you want to send me an invoice for uh, the deposits, 
they probably want some more samples, but I guess this, would I be able to rebook? What about rebooking? I could rebook for myself. Uh, uh, I'm not being reasonable. Oh boy, you're, you're talking to the wrong person now. No, no, I'm being perfectly reasonable. I'll, I'll pay a deposit or rebook, or you could give me a credit equal to the deposit for rebooking. That would be great. Well, yeah, that's the great thing about uh, this fingerprint stuff. Like, you may, the charges won't go through, so I'm not, I'm refusing to pay. I, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you can't allow that to happen. Okay, well, we're orbiting your planet, so I'm, we're leaving. You know, we're going to do this next pass here. Oh, great. Here comes Sister Carolyn. If we could just get this uh, taken care of. Uh, oh, oh, it's good to see you again. As soon as we got out of the atmosphere, I guess you're feeling better, huh, Sister Carolyn? Uh, what's the problem? Well, just, we're just trying to get you, uh, like, out of here. Uh, I guess they did the dessert planet. They planned some special stuff for you. Because they thought, you know, I thought you'd want to ride a gumdrop horse. Why would I think that? Uh, I guess I have trouble imagining anyone that wouldn't want to at least see a gumdrop horse. Because I would just like to see see one. Okay, hold on. The the um, desert planet's yelling. No, 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 no. We no longer want to see any gumdrop horses. Because she's not feeling good, and we can't. We can't. We got to go. Okay, hold on. Okay, Sister Carolyn, I don't like the way you're talking to me. I'm dealing with this crisis here, and I'm actually in charge of the ship, and I deserve to be treated with respect, and I hate to have to scold you on your birthday, but I'm going to have to insist you treat me with respect from now on, like the respect I treated you when I ruined your birthday. Well, um, I was just trying to do something nice for you. And I don't think, I think we could travel the universe, Sister Carol. I mean, we could disagree to disagree, but I don't think there's many universes uh, where we could ask any of the people that know what gumdrops are and say, do you want to see a gumdrop horse and maybe ride it? Even a gumdrop horse in another universe would say, hmm, I'd love to ride it. Which, you know, they'd say, huh, is it squishy like a gumdrop? Or they might say, what's a gum drop? You say, well, you know what a gummy is, right? And you know what a Sour Patch Kid is. This is kind of like that, but sugary and uh, rounded and, and uh, yeah, nice and soft like a gummy. And they say, what is it, like a jujube? And they say, well, I, I know, I've seen those, but I don't think I've ever eaten them. I'd say, if you just stick with the gummy thing... Uh, oh, sorry, I get, I get distracted. Sorry, so, so Sister Caroline, just please treat me with respect. I got to get back to dealing with this birthday screw-up, which I made a mistake. I'm sorry, I tried to do something nice to you. Should have been, uh, like, worried about it. just staying out of your way on your birthday, I guess. So, uh, hey, hey uh, dessert planet, you're, so you're not getting, okay. Uh, Stan, what's that on the radar? Uh, scooter, those are uh, dessert planet, uh, those are spaceship scooter. Okay, desert planet. What what, what do you got? Uh, you're placing us under arrest. Uh, no, I'm afraid we don't follow. So Stan, what's what's their? Uh, can can you analyze those? A uh, scooter. Those are fighters. But uh, uh, we okay. Start to run. You take evasive maneuvers. Uh, scooter ship's computers taking evasive maneuvers. Uh, Scooter, there's a quite a bit of, uh, they're, they're launching from a base down there. Okay, just take evasive maneuvers. How long till we uh, get this slingshot completed in orbit? Uh, Scooter, not long, but we'll still be in their gravitational pull for a while until we can, uh, till make a jump. Okay, Stan, just just keep going. We'll, we'll uh, okay, we'll, I'm sorry, Desert Planet. I'm cutting off all communicate. You, you've, uh, you, you, okay, you've set our ship, uh, to be disabled. Okay, well, I guess we're in a battle then. That's fine. We'll, we'll uh, are they, Stan, are those, uh, are there uh, living beings in those ships? Scooter, no. They're, uh, oh, Scooter, they're, uh, they're, they're, they're the ships are made of gumdrops. Stan, they're not made of gumdrops. You're joking, right? Right? Scooter, I, I am partially, they, they looked like gumdrops for a second, but, but the, the computer told me to tell you that joke. Great joke, Stan. All right, come drive planet or whatever the heck you are. Just cut off communication with them to Stan. 
Okay, Scooter, there's uh, 45 ships uh, approaching. Okay, well, we 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 can take, I guess we're in a little, okay, uh, Captain and Kur, uh, Kur, uh, what have I done? Well, I just tried to get out of there. It just seems like I knew something strange was going on, to be honest. Ever since we got in the atmosphere, I'm pretty sure they're just some sort of, uh, you know how I feel about the military industrial complex. That was another situation. And they wanted my money not to pay for desserts that grow naturally on their planets. Uh, but because something nefarious is going on. So now they've, they've sent those sh ships. Stan, how long till they intercept us? Scooter, it, it, it's, it's uh, any second now the first of their ships are going to intercept us. I, yeah, you sisters can see how st calm I stay in crisis. So we'll, we'll have to maneuver out of these. Everyone take their... I'm sorry, what, what what's that, Carolyn? Happy birthday to you. Finally giving you the... Oh, wait a second. So you're, you're, ta you're all taking command of the ship. Clear the bridge. What do you mean clear the bridge? I'm still in charge of the ship. Not during a battle situation. Oh. Uh, Stan, uh, can you, is there anything you can do to override that, Stan? A scooter, I cannot override that, uh, no. Okay, uh, clear the bridge now. Oh, boy, really? Okay, Sister Carolyn, escort scooter off the bridge. Okay, I'll just walk off to his pen pal. I'll be right back. I got to get off the bridge. You want to swab the decks during a battle? No, no, I could probably be of use or something. Okay, one second, pen pal. I'll be back soon. Uh, hey, Ben Bale's me. So uh, it's been a little. So this is we're still being chased by these desert. They have us caught in some sort of. Uh, I think they have some sort of uh, sticky whipped cream rays or something. Uh, we're still evading them, and and I guess the sisters have taken out a couple of their ships, but uh, it's not looking so hot. They they travel in like this giant uh, pack behind us. And we can't figure out whatever they're doing. As long as they stay in pursuit of us, we can't make a jump out of this, uh, you know, to do a space jump. So at least that's what the sister said. They, they, I tried to go to the bridge, and then they said, you're not allowed this. So then I called, and they said, uh, they said, we're, they said we've got our hands full up there. I said, well, you don't, you don't need another set of hands? So they said, no. And then Sister Care, you know, they're pretty happy because they haven't been in charge of the ship and there's action. But it's, I think uh, then I called again and they sounded a little more nervous. And then Sister Carolyn said, why don't you go to storage room four? And I wanted to say, well, that's where your freaking presence uh hidden. Well, geez, wait a second, pen pal. Good idea, uh, pen pal. You know, I guess I think we kind of, kind of don't have Stan here because uh, they need him on the bridge. And hopefully I took, hopefully I put him back in his thing. I don't think I left him on the dolly. But, uh, I mean, he can still hear me. Don't worry, pen pal. Stan, Stan could always get a hold of us. But yeah, let's go into storage room four. I just got to, because I can feel the delusion coming through the doors. Oh, uh, that, ta that table's just sitting there. Um, okay, let's close this door here. Okay, the table's moving, pen pal. I know you can't see it, but it's moving towards me. It's pretty cool. It's like a moving table. Uh, let me sit down here. Uh, table, come over here. Still, it's kind of inching its way towards me. Maybe it's just not a fat table. Get over here now. Okay, let me see. I like to put my feet on the table. It's trying to jump up, uh. Now, I'm going to put my feet on your ta table. Stay down. I think this table thinks it's a dog. It's very persistent. In the no, no, table. I'm going to put my feet up on you. I know you don't think you're an ottoman, but all tables are. No offense. Look at that cup holder. Oh, boy. i got to push the table away. It's just too... Okay, this table's aggressively following me. Hey, table, cut it out. Oh, boy, it just tried to pinch my f foot with its legs. I don't like this table. A uh, table, I'm going to, you know, a table I, I have, I'm going to count to three. I've already had to do this once on this, like, this. And then I'm going to have to deal with you. Please stop. The table keeps spot pen pal. The table, this table's, like, banging into my shin and then trying to pop up. And, and uh, it's, uh, okay, table one. 
a two, three. Okay, sorry, table. So Pen, Pen Valley just flipped the table on its back. And now it's like it's its legs are its legs are a little bit like pincers. They said it's like a modern thing. But the table mostly seems it's like almost like the table. I guess it is Sister Carolyn's table. It doesn't like me. It wants to like. Uh, so that makes sense. But it's like the table's also deluded. It's full of delusion. I don't think it's a programming. Hey, Stan, can you hear me? Can you open an independent channel? Scooter, I can. Stan, do you think you could analyze this, the programming of this table? Uh, is it a software or hardware? Uh, Scooter, it's, uh, it's, it's a... You wouldn't understand, Scooter. Okay, well, could we get this... This table seems like it likes pinching floors. Could it pinch anything? Well, Scooter, the uh, table's... Uh, Seems like it's designed to pinch. It's it's just designed to hold a person. Yeah, well, I tried it. It wouldn't hold my feet. I was trying to have it hold my feet. Scooter, I think this table. Scooter, we could talk about it another time. Do you? What, what are you thinking, Scooter? Uh, what I'm thinking is what. Uh, huh, what like? Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how much delusion is. There's a rear. We got some rear stuff in this. We could do like. Uh, Where's if if I take our tax device and stick it in this cup holder and tape it in there, like could you make sure the programming? Like if I throw this out the back of the ship, can you have it grab onto the first uh, uh, dessert dessert ship it, it encounters? Okay, scooter. So you're gonna throw the table out the back of the ship. Well, through the air, rear airlock, yeah. Okay. And then what's going to happen? And then it's going to, it should be in the way of those ships that are pursuing us, right? Uh, if we program our course in the correct way, that would happen. Yes, Scooter. And then if it could grab onto one of the ships, the front of it, ideally, or someplace that I can aim one of the rear cannons at it. Okay, Scooter. So it would grab, I can, I can do that. It'll about program to grab onto the first ship it gets into. And then I don't think there's enough delusion, but if we if we, if we throw Gartox device on here, and then we hit it with the cannon, I think it'll open up an entire dilute like a cloud like the one in Earth. Probably not as big. Scooter, you're gonna uh, put the uh, dessert universe dessert planet into uh, uh, under guard of a cloud of delusion. Yeah, I mean all their ships will be stuck in the delusion. We'll be on the tail end of it. And yeah, I don't think, I think this, I mean, I think that uh, you were right. And we should probably uh, see if we can track down all the brochures for the dessert planet. And, get, you know, we're going to put them out of business. They're, it's a military industrial cover up there. And they're jerks. Terrible customer service. Because, uh, you know, just because you want to go on a gumdrop horse ride doesn't mean... You have to pay for it if someone on your ship gets sick. You know, if you cancel an outing, it, they, they don't have an understanding. They wanted a full full payment. It's not going to happen. And then they send an armada of ships after us to destroy a scooter. Yeah, right. So get, 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 do you think, can you start programming the table? Scooter, that's not a table. It's a device. What do you mean? It's a holding device, Scooter, for you. Well, no, it's a table. It's Sister uh, uh, Carolyn's birthday table. Well, it's just, no, no, Scooter. It's Sister Lynn's, uh, Carolyn's birthday gift. It's It was a device to hold you. Uh, it, the delusion. It's Scooter, I, I, have you figured it out yet, Scooter? Uh, no, but it's, it feels like the ship's taking on. Oh, Scooter, we're, we're yeah, we're getting, our shields are at, uh, okay, Scooter, yeah, you, you, we better go through with this plan. All right, so you you have that bay. okay? So can can you uh? So is the table gonna try to grab me then, or whatever you said? Yes, scooter, but you could just keep it, hold it by its back then. Okay, and then is there some good space tape that I could space tape this uh, uh Gartax device into this cup holder? Uh, scooter, there, there, yeah, there, there is. It's in the, the, that uh, drawer forty seven. Wow, they're organized on this ship. Okay, so hey, Pen Pal, be right back. Okay, hey, Pen Pal, it's me. I'm at the rear airlock here. This table is pesky. 
You can't let your guard down around it. It, it tries to pu push off the walls. That's right I'm talking about you, table. And I've had to give it a bunch of timeouts, but it's a robot or whatever, so it doesn't listen to me anyway. And now it knows it's going out the door, so it kept trying to push the door. But, you know, it, it doesn't, it, you know, I just had to put it out. It was easy. This table was easily... Anyway, it's a hey, table. I'm going to be outside. You're going to grab on. So I've got it in the airlock. And so I'm on, now I've closed the airlock. So the table's in the airlock. Okay, Stan, uh, uh, use the ship's computer and, you know, make sure we stay on. Can you override any commands? Uh, Scooter, in this case, for strategic purposes, this you, you, your plan is uh, has strategic uh, is, has strategic value. So, yeah. Okay, so launch the table out there. Launching the device scooter. All right, Stan, bring, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take uh, control of the rear guns here at this uh, station. And we can activate rear camera. Can you zoom in on the table? Well, it, it, it's, well, it's grabbing. Okay, it's got one of those. It does look like it just grabbed a gumdrop there. Uh, scooter, the ship knows it's been. Uh, it has a foreign body on it. All right, well, I'm going to launch and firing, and those are all robotic ships, right, right Stan? Scooter, those are all robotic ships. Well, now they're all lost in a cloud. Look at that. Uh, the, that cloud of delusion is like a purplish green. Scooter, that they're all covered in delusion now. You did it. Okay, there's two ships coming out, but I'll take those out. That's not a problem. All right, Stan, good job. I'm going to head to the bridge now that we're no longer in battle. Uh, set a course having nothing to do with that star uh, from before. All right, Pimpel, I'm headed to the bridge. You should you should probably stay tuned for this one here. Uh, watch me in action, Pimpel. Don't, you know, I'll try not to be too, okay, here we go. Uh, quartermaster on the bridge, uh, uh, battle situation seems resolved now. Uh, you're not giving him command for the bridge. Is that what you said, Car Sister Carolyn? Okay, uh, ship's computer. Uh, who's in charge? Stan, who's in Why don't you to interpret for them? Uh, scooter, you have command of the vessel. Yeah, scooter has command of the vessel, uh, Sister Carolyn. And, yeah, I guess command doesn't come, it comes with glares. Uh, uh, and yeah, it comes with, you know, uh, birthday surprises. Oh, by the way, did you, did anyone notice that we're, we're the, uh, enemy's no longer in pursuit? Uh, what did I do? Well, it turns out, I guess there was a table that Sister Carolyn, hey, bad news, your birthday present is gone off the ship. I know that's why you're so surprised that I'm here on the bridge taking command. Because it was a funny thing, the table was just so aggressive, and I didn't have to be uh, Cam Jansen to figure out that uh, uh, that table. They said, oh, the table is so soaked in delusion, and I had a little, I thought it was a cup holder. Turns out that Gartox device fit right in there. And that, uh, like, uh, it, it, I guess it was when I noticed the bottom of the table, at least there was some padding on there. Uh, where it would hold, uh, you know, you could lie down uh, on the underside of the table uh, so that, you know, you wouldn't be in charge of a ship, but you could still get, they said, wow, that is, uh, but it's a good thing, ship's computer, who's in charge of the ship again? Oh, I guess I don't understand, it was, but I know I'm in charge. Stan, uh, what were the odds of us escaping that uh, those dessert ships without my plan? A uh, scooter, we, we, we couldn't have uh, known what other plans we would have came up with at the time. Okay, if we didn't come up with any other plans, what would have happened? You would have probably had to pay for the dessert uh, trip we didn't take, Scooter. Or, you know, we would have been... Okay, thanks, Stan. So that's it. Birthday, uh, birthday, happy birthday, sister. Oh, you do want to say something. Okay, we, we go right ahead and say it to my face is fine. I might be a fool, but I'm not I'm not a fool to be trifled with. Thank you. You're a dangerous fool that I am. Well, I have another foolhardy idea, Sister Carolyn. Uh and the rest of the crew is say, geez, when I was off uh the bridge, it seemed like you were doing a pretty good job up here. 
And I was thinking, you know, I got rid of the idea of, of having, you know, I said I'll never turn over the bridge to anyone. But I was thinking when I'm not on the bridge, uh, uh, maybe we could come up with a chain of command of someone that will be in command of the ship uh, when I'm not on the bridge. But but if I'm detained from get, you know, your ship's computer and standard, you analyze for all loopholes. Scooter. Me and the ship's computer are very. We we understand. We we somewhat understand your thinking. Well, you know. What, 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 so so if you're detained by the sisters by a table, you'll still have command of the ship, even though you're not on the bridge. Right, but otherwise, sisters, I think, uh, despite not being able to trust you, that, that somehow that makes me trust you more, because uh, in other situations, going to come up with where you need me, and you might not respect me. Sister Carolyn, that's fine, uh, but you need me. And you not only do you need me to help you find in the chaise, uh, but I'm effective and not to be trifled with. So so let's try not to f forget that. But at the same time, there's no reason for it to be, I say, you know, let by God, let tables be table. The table ended up saving us, uh, sisters. So, uh, you know, I guess, like, uh, I can... Uh, I guess I don't know what to do. I, I was trying. I'm like I was trying to advocate for myself. I guess, but at the same time, sister, I can't expect you to just be like. Uh, I mean, I tried to do something nice for your birthday. That didn't work out clearly, but I think really I was just doing it for myself. I'll be honest with you, sister Carolyn, because I'm not really in a hurry. I mean, I guess I would even. I, I guess, no, that's true. I would love to ride gumdrop ponies or whatever next to you. It's just the times in between when we're not riding gumdrop ponies that I'd probably not hang with you. But that's fine. We like uh, we're still on the ship together, and we still make the most of it, I, right? Our pen pal, she, she 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 shrugged. So, win some, you lose some. But when you need a crazy idea uh, to save the ship, or someone that's actually in charge. Uh, Except when he's not on the bridge, temporarily not in charge, but really in charge. Uh, I, I thought I'd be more gracious. I originally, Stan had planned on turning a little bit of my over command over, but uh, I don't know. Could we say like uh, to, to a few of our favorite things about Sister Carolyn before she? Sister Carolyn, is there any sweets that you do like for your birthday? Well, how about this? this why does everybody just list all the things that? Uh, no, I don't think I can hang. I was going to see you could list all the things that I haven't done right since you've met me. But what if we just all drink sodas together? Can you have a No. Oh, okay. All right, well, pen pal, I got to go. Uh, so uh, good night, and I'll talk to you soon. I want to do some thank yous, uh, some review thank yous. Laura ba baking. Laura's baking works every time. Uh, Planes, trains, buses, any trains, it works like a charm every single time. I try to stay awake, uh, but it's impossible. Love with this podcast. KS Pence 303. How does he do it? Five stars. Someday I swear I'm going to listen to a full podcast when I'm wide awake, but not while I'm driving. The randomness of podcast is crazy. He somehow mimics the brain as I'm falling asleep and thinking. I think maybe it's mental overload. A stream of consciousness talking and mixing of thoughts overloads my tired brain and it goes to sleep rather than follows the story. I've only used it a few nights to love it already. Thank you, Kate Pence. Case Pence. Amazing. From Terry Shen. I never finished the episode because I fall asleep within three minutes. Ha <laughs> ha. Amazing idea. Thank you. How about this one? Uh, Dia Thoria. Guess I got you on that one. Dia Thoria. Yeah, Dia Thoria from Sweden, uh, best sleeping forever. Head up, hard time falling asleep, took sleeping pills, but uh, sleeping with me helps so much. In the beginning, you listen to five and seven episodes before falling asleep, and now one or two. Really it helps having someone remind you to relax and focus on someone else. Thanks for helping me sleep, no problem. How about this one? You talk about monster, sugar monster, and no better. Does the trick. Uh, great to fall asleep to. Thanks, Sugar Monster. And finally, be funly. Uh, great podcast. Really works. Podcast is great. Look forward to listening to it every night. Does a great job. 
Often I'll hear the beginning of the story of Marty in Dreamland. I wish I had this when I was deployed overseas. Thanks, be funly. Yeah, those were reviews. And over on YouTube, I'd say thanks to Mega Misfits, uh, CX Trilla, uh, Jacob G, uh, the Chibi Fangirl, uh, somebody that doesn't like the podcast, and I gonna say their name. Bottle Extraordinaire, that's nice. Uh, they liked it. Uh, Macy D, thank you. Sabrina S, thank you. Seal, C I E L, is that how you say it? Seal, thank you. Thugzilla, thank you. Uh, Stephen C, thank you. Peter K, thank you. Alex S K, thank you. Random Gaming, thank you. Uh, Radfu, thank you. Stay boring, Radfu. This didn't work for Christina P. Uh, Pushkar, thank you. Jacob G, been listening for a year. This is just a second shout out. Uh, Dion, thank you. Kappa, thank you. Uh, Kawhi, thank you so much. Uh, me man is still in school. Thanks, me man. Chocoholic sister, thank you. Becky B, thank you. Harrison, thank you. Great Scott, thank you. Uh, Gail, uh, Noel, thank you. DJ Bond, thanks and good night. Snowcat, thanks and good night. Samantha, thanks and good night. Jen Misha, as always, thanks and good night. Deborah B to the W, thanks. Christy, thank you. Five missiles, thanks. Twelve year, another twelve year old listening to the show. Great, thank you. Derek S, thanks. Rogue, rogue penguin, spreading the word too. Uh, another twelve year old, thank you. We've got a twelve year old posse rolling here. Kimberly H, thanks. Uh, and that's it. Thank you so much, and good night.